Hi, my name is Brandy June, and I'll be debuting my novel, Gold Spun, which is a Rumpelstiltskin retelling from the Miller's Daughter's point of view next May. But since we're still in the final rounds of editing, instead I'm going to read to you Annabelle Lee by Edgar Allan Poe. It was many and many a year ago in a kingdom by the sea that a maiden lived there whom you may know by the name of Annabelle Lee. And this maiden, she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. I was a child and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea, but we loved with a love that was more than a love, I and my Annabelle Lee, with a love that the winged seraphs of heaven coveted her and me. And this was the reason that long ago, in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee, so that her highborn kinsmen came and bore her away from me to shut her up in a sepulcher in this kingdom by the sea. But the angels, not half so happy in heaven, when envying her and me. Yes, that was the reason, as all men know, in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind came out of the cloud by night, chilling and killing my Annabelle Lee. But our love, it was stronger by far than the love of those who were older than we of many far wiser than we. And neither the angels in heaven above nor the demons down under the sea can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And the stars never rise, but I feel the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And so all the tide night, I lie down by the side. Oh, my darling, my darling, my life and my bride. In her sepulcher there by the sea, in her tomb by the sounding sea. Thank you.